Hey, welcome. And today we're going to be talking about the McDonnell Miller low water cutoff, the model number 51-2. Uh, the 51 refers to uh, this bulbous affair here, and the 2 refers to the number 2 switch, which is electrically wired into the burner safety circuit and you generally wire it with the common here and the normally closed here and this is for the alarm circuit in general. Um, the number two switch sits atop this assembly and this um, activates the switch when uh, the float level drops. It sits right about there like that. And uh, when the float drops, uh, it causes that sort of triangular shape, a uh, bit of plastic to push on the tab. Let's see if we can, sorry about that. I think you can hear the clickety click and that activates uh, or shuts off uh, the burner it's also the float is also attached to the water feed mechanism which is iron bodied and the main problem with this uh, iron bodied feed system is that if there is a leak it will just simply add water to make up water without indicating that it's doing so and eventually uh, this iron body will, will start to rust and it'll either fail to feed or worse, will flood the system. And that's what happened here. This just started flooding the system. Um, this assembly is held on with uh, several bolts, six bolts, I think. These are uh, 7 sixteenths. Um, they come apart fairly easily. Uh, that, of course, if you disassemble the uh, water lines to the unit. This is the inner core, as it were. And as you can see, it's got a fair amount of buildup. Uh, the bottom is, uh, fair, uh, is partially occluded, so you're not getting really good flow. Um, prior to the installation of this valve earlier this year by yours truly, uh, there was a restricted port gate valve, which had replaced a, of all things, a globe valve, which was, of course, not not going to work to to remove the goo from here. You see, this stuff is pretty uh, pretty bad. And there's your float, and as you can see as the as the float drop. Hey, the water level rises, pardon me, the water level rises, the float should allow the switch to be deactivated and then as the float drops, you can see that rises. I hope that's clear. Yeah. One of the things you have to do, you have to blow these things down properly because otherwise this pasty, uh, rusty, oily, um, colloidal suspension, I guess, um, will either do one of two things. It'll either build up and keep the float from dropping properly and activating the low water cutoff, or the um, this will actually cause the float to to stick and shut the burner off, but worse, just keep the unit from feeding. Even though the water level is proper, it will allow this to, uh, to feed um, and flood the system. So when it gets like this, that you need to take it apart and, and clean it out at the very least, or uh, you need to just simply remove this thing like this is gonna be. And we're gonna add an electronic control 
and because I believe these things are hopelessly obsolete. If you disagree, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you later. Be safe, and I'll see you on the next one.